Okay. Well, if you, <laughs> if, if, no, if, if you, right. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like you're not being open to other cultures, Joe. <laughs> you're right. Like perhaps you should be thinking about eating the penis a little <laughs> bit more, <laughs> perhaps. But yeah, I think the, the, the lack of, uh, rituals and routines that get people to go through yeah. something a rite of passage think about what it is when people go into the army you know mm -hmm. you're bonding together over brotherhood i learned this uh, the other day on the show about how men bond by doing things and it makes sense that men would bond by doing things because that's what they would have gone out ancestrally we're going to take down that mammoth me you jamie grab spear go get my mammoth. right, right? that would right. be what we would do but interestingly it also creates a reason for why men's friendships are a little bit more shallow because if you were to die while we were out on the hunt and then i spend the next three months weeping at your death that means that i'm pretty useless hmm. men need to be able to cycle through friends more so it, it seems like men have broader social circles but much more shallow really women have tighter social circles that are more deep i don't think that's true because the brotherhood that men have that they form in combat and the the brotherhood that men have when they're a part of uh, like uh, combat sports teams and like people that do very very difficult things together that's an intense bond mm -hmm. that's a brothership that's a that's a family thing that's a, a love bond that's uh, it, it's it's very deep and some would say deeper than most female relationships that most females have with each other. Yeah, perhaps, but they're bonding over doing a thing there, which is, I think, the important element that they've got going on. They're doing something. It's almost a simulacrum of war, mm -hmm. right? When you're being a fighter. So or the, or the warriors who are actually doing war. Yeah. They're bonding over that. They're and they have to, yeah, and they have to rely on each other. When you're talking about people in, in like, elite combat sports teams, like, like the SEAL teams, things along those lines, not combat sports, I mean, you know, combat teams, uh, like, those guys are fucking tight with each other like you know in a way that is you don't see that much in female relationships because they have to rely on each other they have to have their backs and they they also know that that person has gone through buds they've gone through like this insane difficult weeding out process of weak minds you know and, and people that will quit that those guys are different that's like the, to to but that's a rite of passage, right? Yes. That's people that have gone through something where they've proven their their worth and value, and they're they're also their their self esteem is based on that. That they have gone through this thing, and they know who they are. They have accomplished this thing, and they've passed through this test. It certifies that the people that are around you are worthy of being around. Yes. You. Yes. And you can trust them and count on them, and you value them very, very highly. And I don't think those are shallow relationships at all. I would agree.